Hey, what's up you guys? This is Marvel Jacob coming at you with a new video here and well, I'm not sure how many of my current subscribers are interested in this stuff, but uh, may as well get it out there. I'm a huge, huge fan of Catherine Isabel and if you don't know who she is, um, she's pretty much a, she's a great actress. Uh, kind of made her claim to fame, but she's been on a pretty good amount of horror movies by now. She's done, also, she's done some pretty good dramas, thrillers, that kind of thing. And I've been building a pretty steady collection of her movies lately. And I plan on getting a couple more, and hopefully in Turning Page, eventually gets a DVD release by chance. But for now, I'm just going to show you the few movies I have of hers, and let me give my brief thoughts on them. And probably the next video you'll see from me will be some kind of figure review. Uh, but anyway, here's my Catherine Isabel movie collection. This is more for my personal pleasure, not yours, but if someone happens to enjoy her work like I do, then, uh, well, more power to me. <clears throat> so... Probably it's probably still her most well-known role is the Ginger Ginger Snaps movie, the original. Uh, well, she's obviously you know, she's obviously the one right here, and uh, Emily Perkins is the other girl on the other side there. It's definitely a underrated cult classic, I think. I mean, it's a werewolf type of movie. But also kind of talks about the sister's bond, which I really enjoy, and even has like a metaphor for having a period. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoy this one. I'll probably watch it again soon, eventually. I mean, I'm not going to go too in-depth on any of these movies. Like I said, brief thoughts. And then, of course, uh, if I have the first one, I also have the second one. Ginger Snaps 2, Unleashed. This one's pretty good. I mean, without spoiling anything, Catherine as well is a bit of a lesser role in it, but it's still pretty good. And like I said, I'm not going in depth here. And the th well, it's the third one, but it's more of a prequel to the other two. Ginger snaps back the beginning. This one is probably on the same level as the first one for me. I might even like this one more than the original. I I really love the ending to it, and, and I just thought the whole thing was pretty pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not going into detail right now, but yeah, I love the Ginger Snaps movies. Okay, and uh, let's see which one do I want to show you next. Well, y'all probably seen this movie, uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Catherine Isabel is in this one. She played Gib, you know, Laurie's pot smoking friend. The one that got killed, well, the one that Freddy was after, but Jason ended up killing her in the real world. You know, that's when Freddy went, She's mine! Mine! You know what I mean? Anyway. Yeah, it's not really one of her greatest roles, but it is. she is in it, so it is part of my Catherine Isabel collection, as well as my horror collection. Same as the Ginger Snaps. But, yeah, I don't really want to talk too much about this one right now. Interesting fact, though, is uh, Catherine Isabel was originally supposed to have the lead role as Laurie in this one. But, I guess she went in expecting to get that role, but... And they gave her the Gib role. Uh, then she had a lot of disagreements with the director, Ronnie Yu. He gets a lot of crap from fans anyway. But I'm not going to go into detail about that right now. Like I said before, we talk about that in another video. More specific about this. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, this one's called Show Me. I was really looking forward to seeing this one a couple weeks back back 
Sorry for the voice crack. But uh, this one's a really good movie. It has a couple good twists that really add to the plot. This one isn't horror. It's more, like I said, a drama or a thriller. Catherine Isabel obviously being at the top there. She's great in this movie, and the ending is pretty devastating, and I'd say it's pretty good. So definitely worth it. And definitely not recognized as much as it should be, like a lot of her work. Um, and some of you might have heard of this one, but it's called American Mary. This is probably her, big, her biggest role since the Ginger Snaps trilogy. Uh, I mean, I like her a lot in this, obviously, but I, honestly, I didn't think the movie was all that great overall. There are certain things about it I liked, but I don't know. A lot, besides her, a lot of the acting seemed dull and like they sleepwalked through it. Maybe they just didn't have to try that hard anyway. But I thought she did well in it, acting-wise, for what she was dealt. Um, the ending is kind of brings it down for me a lot, too, because it kind of just randomly comes out of nowhere and just kind of feels anticlimactic. But it's still pretty decent. I watch it every now and again. Every now and then, I mean. Uh, I mean, I like the Saska sisters, but Soska, I forget how to pronounce it right now. But, you know, Jen and Sylvia, obviously, I like them a lot. But not really one of my favorite Catherine Isabel movies, honestly. Still worth picking up a little for me. Uh, and the. Uh, well, last one I have for now is 13 Eerie. This one's probably, it's pretty simple. It's a team of, uh, you know, aspiring FBI medical students. You know, they go in this area and it's basically a zombie flick. And uh, Catherine Isabel, once again, outshines everyone acting-wise. Everyone else is pretty uninteresting except for Brendan Fletcher. He's decent. Uh... But yeah, I thought the zombies in this one actually looked pretty good. Gore effects are surprisingly decent. And uh, it was entertaining. I just wish it was longer. Only 87 minutes. But those 87 minutes are pretty entertaining. Action-wise, I guess. So yeah, it is worth it. And I only have a couple minutes here because I gotta watch uh, Smackdown. Anyway, uh... And that's my Catherine Isabel connection, connection, collection, which is still steadily growing, little by little. Get a couple more movies from her that I haven't got yet, and maybe new ones as they come out as she makes them. Obviously, and I said obviously a lot in this video, but deal with it. Anyway, this is my uh, uh, latest video, and hope you got, hope you guys and found some enjoyment out of it as much as I do. Fantastic actress, probably my favorite of all time. Maybe actor in general, I don't know. Catherine Isabel is amazing. Uh, anyway, that's it for this one, and I'll catch you guys later with a figure review I plan on. And, uh... Peace.